Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We got a great tutorial today, probably a little bit on the longer side, but we're gonna be creating this sort of 3D light reflection logo design here, either for titles or for logos, it doesn't really matter, or, or for both in our case here. And we're gonna be putting together this nice little scene, and we're gonna be focusing on obviously these nice reflections, the beveling here, and this is all done without any plugins inside of After Effects. And I'm very excited to be doing this because there's a lot of great techniques in this video. Now before we dive in the video, I want to say this video is sponsored by VideoHive.net. If you're looking for high quality logo templates, there are over 10,000 logo templates pre-made and ready to go where you can just drag and drop your logo or titles and you can render them right away. Go ahead and check out my links in the description for my top 5 favorite logos that will save you time that are very relevant to this tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump in this video and let's get started. So. So here we are in a new composition, and here I have just my logo and text. I just made something really quick. So this is the only thing you have to have done ahead of time. Just have your logo, have your titles in there ahead of time. So once you have that in there, you can take all your elements, your logo, your title, doesn't matter what file it is. Go to Layer Precompose, and we can call this one uh, Placeholder Logo, and click OK. So that's done ahead of time, so you can always swap this out later. Okay, so now what we want to do is duplicate this placeholder by going up to Edit, Duplicate, and we go up to Layer, New, Solid. And we want to make it black, and we can call this one Noise. And we're going to put this layer between our placeholder logos like this. Go up to Effect, Noise and Grain, and we're going to add Fractal Noise. Now I'm going to come here to Contrast and increase this by a little bit, and that should be good. I'm going to come here to the Transform Properties. And I'm going to uncheck Uniform Scaling, and I'm going to increase the width and the height. And we're probably going to really increase the height. And you'll do this until you get this nice stretched out perspective. And we're going to add a keyframe for offset turbulence and move to the end of your you know, timeline here. And we can just move this over as we see fit. So now you should have something like this. All right. Now what we're going to do is for the track mat on our first placeholder logo here, set this to Luma Mat. And we'll come here to the top placeholder, go to Effect, uh, Generate, Fill. And we're going to make this black. And we're going to go to the blend mode and set this to Soft Light. And you should be good for here. So now you should have a little bit of this nice light reflection going on here. And this is just the start of the effect. All right. And then when we're done here, we'll go to Layer, Pre-Compose. And we'll call this one Noise logo from here we want to obviously bevel this a little bit and make some more reflections so what I'm gonna do is create a new composition and I'm just gonna call this one noise map and click OK and come over here to layer new solid that's a light and we'll click OK actually we we'll call it noise and we'll go to effect noise and grain and we're gonna add fractal noise again and we'll come over here and increase the contrast like we did before. And we'll come over here to transform. And we'll turn off uniform scale again. We're going to do the width and also increase the height like crazy. And we'll add a keyframe for offset turbulence and go to the end and, of course, increase the X value here. So we'll get this once again, basically creating the same exact thing. So now I want to make this a little bit smaller because this is just not good enough. Now we'll go to effect stylize motion tile. And we'll come over here and just size this down by decreasing the width, also the height as well. And I want to make sure to check on mirror edges so you get rid of all those creases like that. All right, and we're going to go back to the fractal noise where it says fractal type. Let's set this down to one of these values down here. So maybe you could do max, mirror, swirly. I like swirly here. And I'm going to decrease the brightness down to maybe like 100, negative 100. And now I want to go to effect, blur, sharpen, and I'm going to add Gaussian blur. And we'll just increase the blurriness a little bit, repeat edge pixels. And, you know, that should be fine. So, now we can bring this noise map into our main comp here. And we'll put it on top of our logo. And, of course, we'll pre-compose it one more time. And we call this layer Bevel and Light. And move all entries into new composition. Click OK. And we'll open up this comp. And from here, we want to bring in our noise logo. Put this on top of the noise map. And we'll toggle switch to the modes. If you until you see the track map for the noise map. Set this to alpha map. So you have this. And this is where we're going to kind of start getting our bevel back into play here. So, so now let's go up to effect, stylize, CC glass. Let's open up the surface here. And 
we can maybe decrease the height, decrease the displacement, and we should be good for here. Now, let's go ahead and really top this effect off. And let's go to the store and we'll add a CC Bobby Lies. I hope I said that correctly. And let's go here, open this layer, Bob layer. And we need to set the Bob layer to a you know layer here. And we'll set this to noise logo for the Bob layer. And you see it's starting to bevel a little bit. Now we just have to refine these settings. And we'll decrease the softness to maybe about five, maybe a little bit lower, depending on how much you really want to go there. And we'll bring the cutaway all the way down to like zero. I'm not sure if I like that effect. And we'll come here to the light tab. We'll set this light type to point, point light. And we can, of course, move this to wherever we want the light to be at. So maybe I like this right over here. Maybe bring it up or down. It really doesn't matter. I like the point light a little bit. And that looks good. So we'll zoom out here. This is kind of what we have at the moment. And, you know, now we have this strong light and bevel, you know, reflection going on here. And that looks good. Of course, we can go into the noise map. And if you have to, lower the opacity of the you know actual noise here if it's a little too much for you. If we go back in here, you see that the effect becomes a little bit less intense. But we'll we'll play that in a second. Okay. So now I want to add our texture in here. So this is where you're going to want to go to like Google and find some textures, you know, maybe some images that you really like. So I have a, quite a few in here. I'm going to try to go with this one right here. So what I'm going to do is bring this texture into our you know project here. I'm going to grab our noise logo comp here, bring it into here, bring it on top of the texture and set the track map for our texture to alpha map. And we might need to, you know, scale up our texture by hitting S on our keyboard for scale. And I'm going to go to the blend mode over here and I want to set this to add. So now we added a little bit of a texture to this. All right. So now we're back in our main comp here and you're probably thinking, well, how can I colorize this? How can this look a little bit better than just this white sort of grayscale logo. What we can do is bring back in our placeholder logo, bring it to the top, go up to effect, generate fill, and you can choose your color. That's good. And you come here to blend mode and set this to overlay. All right. So now we have our logo and all that. So there's a couple things I want to work on. I want to add on more, you know, contrast in the light. And I also need to, you know, maybe add some more of a drop shadow to bevel this even more because this is kind of what we have. It looks beveled and it looks nice and everything's wrapping perfectly uh, but it's not standing out on anything so let's go ahead and create the shadow real quick so what we can do to create a shadow so I want to come here and duplicate our noise logo and I'm going to pre-compose the bottom layer call it shadow we'll open this up and we'll duplicate this layer we'll go to effects blur and sharpen and we'll add cc radial fast blur and we'll just increase this all the way to maybe almost as max and we can of course choose the direction of shadow. We can have it going straight down like this. So we'll increase the Y and go to effect, generate fill. And we'll set this to black and we might want to put on a transparent layer so we can see our shadow and we'll come over here, set, go to the track mat, set it to alpha inverted mat. And we'll come over here, grab over layers, duplicate those so we can increase the intensity of the effect. So you can do it a couple of times. It really depends on how intense you want this to be. So, so there is our actual, you know, shadow in there. And we come over here to our main comp and we turn off the opacity. And now we're looking pretty good. So what we can do to add even more brightness to this, we'll go here, duplicate our bevel and light layer. We'll pre-compose this layer and call it brightness. We'll go in here. We'll go to effect blur and sharpen and we'll add fast box blur and we'll increase the blur radius. Go here to the blur dimension, set it to vertical. And this is what we have. And we'll add another effect blur and sharpen and we'll add a Gaussian blur. And we'll blur this out by a touch so doesn't so we can kind of get rid of those straight edges there. And you know, that's pretty interesting. And now we'll go back to our main comp over here. And let's go to blend mode and set this to overlay. And that'll blend there nicely. So now you'll have the, like this moving light streaks all in our logo like this. And you know, this looks good. So of course now you can always change the color of your actual logo. We set the blue, any color that you want. But now we can start building out this primary composition. So come here, take all these layers, pre-compose it. And we call this one logo final. So now we have to start building out the scene and there's a lot of things you can do. You can add like a texture, you know, do some nice lighting effects. So I'm going to come here and use some pre-made assets in here that you can download for free. They're called uh, volumetric light and dust. I did a full video on this. I'll link down in the description as well, but you can download these free assets. The link will be in the description. And basically we're going to use these elements to build out our scene because these are so awesome. And first of all, I can't believe these are free, but we're going to go ahead and use these. So be sure to download these assets for absolutely free links in the description. 
So I'm going to bring in this large dust background here, bring it underneath our logo, and we're going to hit S on our keyboard for scale and bring it down. These are 4K images, by the way, so that's pretty awesome. And now we kind of have a nice background in here. And I'm going to bring in this beam kit here, bring it on top of our logo, and this is where we're going to start blending things together, scale it down, of course. And boom, there's this nice light in here. Go to blend mode, set this to overlay. And we'll come here, lower the opacity down to like 51%. And we'll come here to the bottom layer, go to effect, color correction, curves. And we'll maybe brighten this up by a little bit. Go to the red channel. And maybe we'll pop this up by a touch. We'll make this a little bit more warm. Go to the blue channel and bring this down. And I also want to bring in a background texture. So I have this background texture here, just, you know, just normal texture off of Google. And we're going to bring this underneath here. Go to the large dust layer, hit T on keyboard for opacity, bring it down. Maybe we'll set this to soft light. And we'll go to the background here and lower the opacity on this down to maybe like 25%. So we have a little bit of a texture in here, uh, you know, adds a little bit of nice background dimension. I'm going to move the window beam kit over just by a little bit. Okay, and that looks pretty decent. And I'm going to layer new adjustment layer. And I go to effect color correction curve so we can recolor correct this if you want to. I can bring this down, make it a little bit darker if I want. Go to the red channel and you know start to manipulate this by a touch, make it a little bit more, you know, in the mood that you need it to be in. And now we go to effect noise and grain, and we're gonna add grain to this. Go to viewing mode and go to final output, and we'll set the intensity down to like 0.3. And this will just add a little bit more grain in here, kind of get rid of any banding that may take place in the scene. Um, and just adds a little bit more, you know, dimension to it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add a little bit of scaling to this. Go, go up to layer, new, null object. Let's parent our logo to this layer. And let's parent all of our assets other than our logo, parent to the null object. We'll hit S on our keyboard for scale. And actually, we'll scale this up by a touch. Add a keyframe for scale. Move to the end of our animation, which will be five seconds. And we'll scale this back down to about 100. And now we'll come here to the logo layer. We'll hit SR and keyboard for scale and we'll move forward in time. And we can have this come towards us by a touch. So it'll be, create a little bit of a parallax. I'm actually going to bring our logo above the adjustment layer because I don't want that to be touched by our color. And so far, this looks really good. Make sure to turn on motion blur for your layers and turn on the top. And one last technique that I want to do is just optional. I'm just going to show off a quick plugin that I have over here. Go to Window Extensions Animation Studio. And this is called uh, Montage Library. I'll drop a link in the description. And basically, it's these pre-made effects uh, that you can just drag and drop and apply to your project. So I have like these chromatic glitch effects that I can apply over here. And I can just click on Apply and it'll load into my project. And I can bring it in my timeline. And basically, it's going to apply these nice glitch effects within a couple of seconds. It's called Montage Library. I'll drop a link in the description, but I am going to use something in here to kind of help boost the scene here. So maybe I'll go to Light Leaks. And there, I have these nice Light Leak pack in here like this. I'm going to click on Apply. And this will help me apply a quick Light Leak. Of course, you can download separate packs. and But Montage Library has 750 plus effects that you can drag and drop into your any After Effects project file at any time. So it's a great way to save some time and enhance your work within a matter of seconds. So this way we'll be able to enhance this logo. All right, and just for a quick fix, since the light reflection is a little too fast, let's go back into our noise logo. Go back into the first noise layer and we'll go back to the um, offset turbulence. And go to the last keyframe. And what we want to do is not make this so fast as I had it. So if you did it kind of fast, kind of slow it down by a little bit. So it'd be a little bit more shimmery, if you will. And after our render, here's what we have. We have our logo, beveled logo, if you will, with some nice light streaks going on here. And overall, I think this is a really cool look, a nice little scene that you can drag and drop any text or logo into and it'll automatically take the beveled logo or title here. So be sure to check out our links in the description to visit Video Hive, where there's over 10,000 logo templates. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we can just drag and drop a logo or title and it's ready to go. And also you can get some inspiration from viewing these logo templates. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found several cool techniques in it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this. Drop a like on the video if you found it helpful. Hit me up on my social media networks and always be creative.